Hi, this is Hillary with the Nurse Preceptor channel. Welcome back. This is video number eight. I'm doing 30 preps in 30 days in honor of National Preparedness Month, which is the month of September. And I'm trying to cover essential skills, essential knowledge, and essential purchases that I would recommend for anyone who wants to decrease their overall dependence on this really, really critically broken medical system. And if you want to avoid additional trips to the doctors for minor things, it helps to know what to do for yourself and your loved ones at home. One thing that is essential to have in your arsenal is hard copy books and manuals that can help talk you through a lot of basics. And of course, I've been through nursing school and I've been through nurse practitioner school and I still kept all of my textbooks. I have got quite the library in my office. But I wanted to cover a few types of books that I think I would recommend to anybody who has loved ones at home or anyone who takes any interest in caring for themselves. And clearly you wouldn't be here if that didn't apply to you. One thing that I really would recommend everybody get is some kind of a drug guide, drug textbook, or a drug manual. Mine is ridiculous. I mean, this is a graduate school textbook and it goes over all of the prescribing issues. It goes into a lot more detail than the average person ever would need to know in a lifetime. But you can go to any bookstore or on Amazon and just get a general nursing um, textbook that covers the use of drugs. They also have over-the-counter drugs as well as prescription drugs in these guides. And some of them even include um, some nutraceuticals and herbal supplements as well. And it tells you how to use them safely and what you might need to know before you use them. One thing that I purchased, and I believe I got this from Amazon as well, it is an urgent care and emergency and ambulatory care handbook. Um, it is geared toward nurse practitioners. It really is geared for people who work in kind of an urgent care setting, but it covers everything. Um, all of the typical minor complaints that people would see in an urgent care and even some things that are a little bit more serious. Um, for example, it talks about headaches and it goes over different things to think about, different things to look for if you are, you know, like let's just say you're a parent and your kid is sick. It's things that you may want to ask about to help sort out what's causing the headache. It also goes over um, general management, including things that are non-pharmaceutical, so it's really helpful. Um, for, for example, for headaches, minimize visual and auditory stimuli, cold compresses and antiemetics. So give them something for nausea if that applies, put a cold cloth on their head and basically keep it kind of dark and quiet. You know, just things that are general, all purpose, and then it goes over like specifics of prescribing medications, which may or may not apply. If you have a lot of over-the-counter drugs at your disposal, though, it may be very, very helpful to have this. I would advise getting something like this. And again, you can go to any bookstore and just look through some of the general, like easy ambulatory care, urgent care types of guides for clinicians. Um, one that I have that's a little more advanced also is a differential diagnosis pocket. And what you can look up is, uh, let's see, well, look up cardiomyopathy because that is one that I know is in here. Um, and I've talked a lot about cardio cardiomyopathy lately. It goes over a lot of different details about what it is, what you might observe, and things to be aware of as a clinician. So if you're trying to take care of yourself, that would apply. Other thing that I have here is a pediatric fact book, and anyone who has kids in their house probably will want to have something like that, where it has like a reference guide uh, with vital signs, um, different skills, different medications, because kids' drugs are dosed differently than adults, and uh, you know, some even resuscitation in case someone stops breathing. The other guide that I like to use is the. Um, Tarascon primary care pocketbook and it's kind of like the other one that I showed you where it shows a lot of uh, different types of disorders symptoms and gives advice for managing it and these a lot of these things are things that you can do at home so go ahead and start building up your library and again I as much as I enjoy sometimes having digital books hard copy books are where it's at you'll want to have those because the internet sometimes goes out and you don't want to be stuck with no references at all. So like this video if you found it helpful at all and please subscribe to my channel. I am going to be having a lot more content on here. I've got a whole list of things that I'm going to be covering in the immediate future 
and I would love to have as many subscribers as possible come on board and get yourselves prepared to just be a lot more self-sufficient and break away from some of this you know, dependence upon a medical system, which is absolutely broken at this point. This is the Nurse Preceptor. Bye.